Until now, we've been looking in terms of mirrors and plane mirrors that are flat, one-dimensional. Uh, light that's reflected off of a plane mirror gets reflected straight back from where it came. The laws are very easy. The geometry is very easy. There are other types of mirrors that are present in daily life that we see quite regularly, actually, even if we don't realize it. Those are curved mirrors. Now, in practice, to actually build a mirror that is curved is very difficult. So what is often done is those mirrors are made up of a very large number of small plane mirrors like this. Each one of those boxes is a plane mirror, and they are curved at slightly different angles so that we get essentially a curved surface. It's not ideal, but it's close enough and it's good enough for the use that it's used for. The laws of reflection that we studied with plane mirrors still apply. Light gets reflected at the same angle at which it was received, but with the mirror being curved, it just makes the geometry a little more difficult. We'll get into what that looks like in a little bit. So types of mirrors that you may have seen. A spherical mirror, this is an actual total sphere. Uh, the mirror like the one on the left can actually be found, not the exact mirror on the left, but they have one at the Saskatchewan Science Center in Regina. Cylindrical mirrors. Think of this as a mirror placed on the outside of a pop can. In fact, the legs of the desks actually function almost as a cylindrical mirror. They're just not quite as reflective as they need to be to see things as though it was a true mirror. We have converging mirrors. These ones have a concave reflecting surface. Think of this as the inside of the spoon where the cereal would sit when you eat it. Uh, ladies, this one, commonly used as a makeup mirror. What it does, depending on where exactly you sit behind the mirror, it can make your face appear bigger so you can see better detail. And the last type of curved mirror we're going to look at is the diverging mirror. These ones most of us deal with on a daily basis. The most common one on the left is the passenger side car mirror. It's a, got a convex reflecting surface. Think of it as the back of the spoon. Makes things appear smaller than they are. But the upside to that is that it gives us a wider viewing angle. Likewise, you'll often see convex mirrors in stores in the corner. So the person at the cash register can see a larger area of the store and watch out for potential shoplifters. Again, the object of objects appear smaller, but you get a wider angle of viewing.